Hi everyone and welcome to my latest video. So I'm actually on video number five. So uh, I'm still doing Dia and Co. I'm on my fifth box now and I'm super excited. I love hearing your feedback um, and reading your comments and replying to your comments. There was one comment though, I think on my last video from a uh, username La Turca Americana. I tried replying to your comment and for some reason it just didn't send. I don't know if maybe it's your settings. I don't know, but anyway, thank you so much for your comment. It was very, very sweet. And um, I hope you guys like what you're about to see in this box. I'm really excited. I'm not gonna lie, I peaked earlier. Um, I actually got this box two days ago, but my friend was visiting from Miami this weekend, and so we were caught up doing all kinds of Vermont things. And I didn't get to record, so I'm really excited to try these on um, and show you what I have in my latest DN Co box. So if you haven't seen any of my other videos and you're not exactly sure what DN Co is, I'll leave a more detailed description in the <clears throat> description box. Um, but basically it's a subscription uh, styling service for plus size, 14 and up. And for $20 styling fee, they send you five pieces to your home. You get to try them on. And if you love them, you keep whatever you want. If you don't, you return it. They give you a pre-sealed envelope and everything. So it's really convenient, really great. So far, I've had great pieces in my boxes. Um, and some not so great that are total misses. But I'm still giving it a try. So let's see what's in my box this week. Uh, my stylist this week was Brett. Shout out to Brett. Thank you so much for putting this box together. So we'll start off with um, my first impressions, then I'll try things on, and um, I'll tell you what I think about them. So, this one is called the Juno Rose James Pattern Dress in Black and Ivory. It retails for $49, and they sent me a size 22. So I like the pattern. I'm really excited to see what it looks like on. It has like little shoulder holes or something, which I still don't have anything of that trend I just haven't found anything so the next one is the Tua Heidi dress ooh this one when I opened it up the other day I absolutely love the pattern um, I love the length I think it's gonna be more like a mid calf dress so hopefully I get a chance to wear it before if I decide to keep it before uh, the summer's over because I think we're getting close to winter which is a little terrifying but fall is coming so I'm really excited about that anyway so this one retails for um, $66 in the color orange and it's a 3x so we're excited to try that on then they sent me a pair of jeans it's a fashion to figure boot cut jean in the color dark indigo a size 20 um, I'll try them on. I'm not a bootcut kind of girl. I like skinny tailored pants. They're just more comfortable for me. So I'll try those on and see what they feel like. Um, yeah, and I think I told you those are $38.90. Yes. So the next one is the Uni Shop Maya Top in the color gray pink. Looks like this. Oops, upside down. Sorry. So it's jersey. I love jersey. I'm wearing a jersey shirt right now. I like the pink. The little flowery things, I don't know. We'll see how it looks. I feel like it's a little young for me, but we'll give that a shot. And that one's $42. And they sent me a 3X. So we'll see what that looks like on. Then they sent me an Odie Ran top in the color black. Another 3X. So this is what it looks like. Again with the shoulder, the peekaboo shoulder, and it is $42. So I'm going to try all these on, and then I'll come back and tell you what I think. I'll be right back. Hi guys, so I tried everything on, um, and we'll go through everything to see what, I, what my thoughts were on each piece. So we're going to start with the pants. Like I told you, it was a boot cut, and I normally go for tailored, but they were so, so comfortable. I love the wash. Um, I love the fit. They're really high, which I really, really like. I hate having to worry about, you know, the plumber's crack showing, so it's always good, especially when I have a big booty. 
it's always good to have a high-waisted pant or short. Um, so those are the Fashion and Figure bootcut jeans in dark indigo size 20. Um, they're $38.90, but I don't think I'm keeping them. They were really, really long, and I could pull it off with some wedges that I have, um, but I just don't wear those wedges often enough to justify buying another pair of jeans that I'm not too crazy about. So I'm going to have to return those. Then you saw me trying on with those pants the uh, Odie Ryan Top Black, which was this one. Um, I feel like I would wear that not with jeans but with leggings. It was more like a tunic and it was a size 3XL. Um, I kind of loved how comfortable it was. Jersey is one of my favorite things because it's so easy. You just throw it in the wash, throw it in the dryer, put it on, wears well. It doesn't pill, it doesn't, you know, get holy very easily, so it's a great convenient piece for me, but um, I wasn't too crazy about it, so I'm going to have to return that. Um, and then the next thing you saw me try on was the Unishop Maya Top in gray pink. I love the colors, I'm not crazy, and it was really, really comfortable. I'm not crazy about the lacy detail thing it's got going on. It's really, really, uh, I don't know, it's just not me, you know? So, I mean, it's a great top. I just, I, it's, I wouldn't wear it, so I'm not going to keep that. And it's $42, so I'm returning that. So, keepers. Uh, this one was the Juno Rose James Pattern Dress in Black and Avery. I loved it. It was super comfortable. It's kind of, it's almost like a... I don't know what it's made out of. Now I want to know what it's made out of. Uh, oh, it's made in India. Interesting. It's a size 22. I'm trying to look for the label. I'm very much into finding out what things are made out of. So this one... Tell me what you're made out of. Tell me, tell me, tell me. So it's made out of polyester. 100% um, polyester. Which I guess... It's kind of a good thing, bad thing with me. It fits great, but when I get really sweaty, I can get a little stinky, even with deodorant on. Um, but I think I'm still going to keep it, just because it's a super cute dress. I can put it on with a belt, and it'll be fun. So, that's that. Then we have these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful orange dress. So... This is probably my favorite piece in the whole entire box. Uh, the only downside to this, and this is a 2 dress in a 3X, um, and I believe it was $66. So the only downside to this dress is that it's very chesty. Um, I feel like if I go with a 4X, it's going to be too big, and if I go with a 2X, that obviously is not going to help me anything. But um, I think that if I have the right bra, I'll be able to pull it off. And I'm just really in love with it. It's actually a high low. So in the front, it's right below your knee. And in the back, it hits the back of your ankle. And it's just so, so pretty. It's such a great summer dress. I can totally see myself wearing it out to dinner on a date with my boyfriend. Or, you know, to a party or just for cocktails. It's just really, really nice. I loved everything about it. And even though it's really cleavagey, I think I'm going to keep it and I'm just going to have to find a bra that works with it that maybe, maybe a minimizer. Maybe a minimizer. Um, just because I love it so, so much. And it's still going to show some cleavage, but I just don't want it to be like overly out there. In my 20s, I was all about it. Now in my 30s, I like to keep the girls inside. <laughs> I don't know why, but you know, it is what it is. But sometimes I need to come out and say hello and this dress is the perfect dress to do so. I absolutely love it. I'm definitely keeping it. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Again, I am really, really grateful and super excited that you guys are loving my videos. If you like them, hit like, comment down below what you think about the pieces that I tried on. Let me know what you, um, your experiences are with Deanne Co. and any other subscription-based plus-size um, clothing company. I'm still looking to find another one that I can review. I, I haven't been successful at finding one. 
Um, if you have any suggestions, please let me know below. I'm looking forward to um, receiving my other Dion Co. box though. I'm going to send the pieces back tomorrow in the mail and hopefully I'll have another box by the end of this week. Again, I'm really, really happy that you guys are enjoying watching these. I love making them. Hit like, comment below, subscribe. Thank you again for watching. Have a great day.